If you've committed a serious crime in the past and you think you've gotten away with it, well, I hope you're living in fear. In the words of one police detective, expect a knock on your door at any point. Toronto Police just held a news conference and announced that they made an arrest in a 26-year-old cold case. And there's a reason why I'm pointing out this case in particular. Because they used a method which didn't exist till recently. And I still don't truly understand, to be honest. But before I go on, you need to know this term. Investigative Genetic Genealogy. I'm sure you know by now that we all have our own unique DNA and that there's a DNA database. Law enforcement can access that database and use DNA to connect people to crimes. This information isn't anything new. But Investigative Genetic Genealogy, IgG for short, that takes things to the next level. So in this particular case, Toronto Police detectives utilized IgG, which led them to the offender's family. Now that's interesting. The suspect left DNA at the scene. It was stored for many years in the database, but there was no hits, there was no matches. In 2022, police utilized IgG. And again, the suspect's DNA wasn't in a database, but one of his relatives was. Working backwards, investigators were led to the suspect who has been charged and is currently in police custody. So to explain this like a five-year-old so people like me can understand, if you committed a serious crime years ago and you think you're safe because you stayed out of trouble, well, you better hope that your relatives are staying out of trouble too, because if not, as the detective mentioned, you can expect a knock at your door at any point. Now, this is so cool. Detective Smith from Toronto Police, uh, he led the news conference and he mentioned that Ontario is a leader in terms of IgG testing. He also thanked Edmonton Police, Calgary Police, the RCMP, and the Center for, or the Center of Forensic Science. Lots of work in parts. I'll link the news release in the description. Detective Smith also thanked the Solicitor General for support and for funding. These things cost money. He also stated that with the number of arrests they put forward, hopefully they can continue with this program for a few years. And that caught my attention. There's thousands of historic and solved cases right across the country and adapting IgG, or at least having the ability to partner with organizations who possess IgG technology, that's paramount to solving these cases. I've mentioned in previous videos, sure, we need more police officers on the streets and we need our police to be paid well, but equally as important, and some would say even more important, is that the police have the proper equipment to do their job effectively. This is a perfect example of funding which needs to continue and it needs to expand. All I can do is raise awareness and I can advocate and I'm happy to use my platform to do so. We have one election on the go now and another federal election that could be called at any time, we hope. Now is the time to bring these types of issues forward. Nobody's saying to write the police a blank check with no accountability, but adapting these types of investigative tools, in my opinion, it's a no-brainer. The victims deserve justice. Help those who can't help themselves. Be a voice for those who can no longer speak for themselves. As Detective Smith stated at the news conference, two ways to solve historical cases are changes in relationships and changes in science. And this change in science has allowed us to look at DNA in a different way. I have no clue how the science works, but I'm thankful for those who do. I'm thankful for Detective Steve Smith and his entire team for their dedication. During the news conference, or the news release, sorry, Detective Smith, he also thanked numerous other people and units within the police service who helped make this arrest possible. The missing persons unit, cold case unit, the genealogists who work with police, FIS, so forensic identification services, intelligence, and others. This is a perfect time to remind people that there's much more to policing than what you may see online uh, with police officers or units who primarily focus on community engagement. The public loves seeing the police at these community events, building bridges, breaking down barriers, establishing long lasting relationships, all the things that you teach new recruits to say, they're all great, but what they really want to see is more of this. And so do I. I mean, this was cool. Investigative genetic genealogy, game changer. It's an election time. Let the candidates know what's important to you. Be safe out there. Look after one another. And perhaps we will see you again.